Welcome back to Ghost of a Tale. So, we've just finished talking with the blacksmith. We've entered the courtyard, haven't explored much. Oh, you can see me. I know that there's an armory around here. We know that there's a guard that has a key to the armory somewhere nearby. The blacksmith told us that. We know that we probably want to go to the watchtower, which, speaking of... I guess it's probably one of those two things over there. With the flags on top of them. So, we can go a lot of different places. So I'm just going to pick one. I guess, kind of at random, maybe. Actually, no, we should probably focus on the armor. Because I think that, as a disguise, will allow us to get past the guards a lot easier. So... Let's see... So I think over there is that one armor symbol on the top left. Oops, somebody saved me. So maybe let's head there first. Oh, 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 uh oh. Almost got seen again, too. Oh, so many guards. Oh, is there... Oh, there's another one. Oh, no. Ooh. This place is crawling with guards. Okay, maybe we'll go up here. I don't know, let's just see where this takes us. Chainmail face card. Oh, looks like that's a part of it, yeah. That's part of the, uh, the guard armor. Cool. I love the running animation. I just wish I could run for longer. Shall we try our luck again? Let's do it. Hmm. They don't move. Oh, they don't move, do they? Oh wait, that one moved. Okay, good. Maybe we'll be safe here? Hopefully? Uh, I don't think I'm safe here. I'm not safe here! Surely you're not gonna come all the way up here, are you? Ooh. Yeah, it's fine. Actually, if anything, it's kind of a good thing. Now we're actually getting somewhere. Let's do some pyromancy. <laughs> 25 rebellion points, or whatever that is. I don't remember what, but I don't care. I like it. Burn the fascist symbol. Thief mask. Oh, <laughs> such an adorable outfit. Too long is considered by many, including his peers and his own self, to be the greatest thief alive. Capricious and whimsical. Too long is at once a hero and a villain to those he steals from. Tales of his daring and guile are near legendary, and with each telling his renown has only grown. Thief hat, mask, tunic, belt, and boots. So I'm guessing... Like, I can't imagine any situation where a thief... Oh! Okay, 
if they don't come in this far. Whew. I can't imagine any situation where the thief outfit would allow me to, like, blend in. As in people would see me and go, oh hey, you're just a thief, just like me. You're fine. So I'm guessing some of the outfits, like the guard one, is for blending in. But I'm guessing a lot of them are probably more for stats. Like stamina, sprint, audit of discretion. So I'm guessing if you put on the thief stuff, it'll probably make you harder to see in here. Whereas like the guard armor would make you... Uh, I guess it would give you more resistance, probably. But then probably hurt your stamina recovery and sprint speed. Stuff like that. That's my guess. Can't read that book. And then one night a young doe joined the crowd. The pups all but pushing her into the circle, teasing her until shyly she began to dance. Strange, in all the weeks there you'd not noticed her. You played for her, fast as she could dance, and she danced for you, fast as you could play, both enchanted by the spirit of the lay, the fire's embers bright, and her brighter still. So this is how Tilo fell in love with Mira. Where's this? Oh, back to the main courtyard. Okay, little loop around. <laughs> Look at this old cannon. There's a walkway up there, too. Don't see any way of getting up there from here, though. easy. Ah, a little walkway over there, too. Uh oh Oh. See, so yeah, kind of an easier way of getting past this guard, I guess. Oh, another rose. I don't believe that the game pauses when you open the menu. No, it doesn't. It does when you open, like, this menu. But if you open the inventory, it doesn't pause. You want to make sure you're in a safe area before you read a book. At last, Master Lulin woke from his fever, too weak to stand or even speak. Each morning, you'd sit beside his bed and play for him a lay of healing. On the seventh day, he mouthed your name and weakly beckoned you near. You leaned close, and he spoke. And barely a whisper. Your loot, he muttered. It's out of tune. <laughs> oh no! We're fine, it's fine. Did that hurt me though? No, I didn't. Just look like I sh should walk out on that and it would take me somewhere, but I don't think so. Oh no. Uh oh. No, it looks like if you fall down a significant distance, it takes away stamina, but doesn't necessarily hurt you. Alright, so I can continue on past that guard, or... Oh, 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 that was close. Looks like that's the only good way to go, so let's do that. Ha! <laughs> 
<laughs> Look at those little ears. Look at their floppy ears. They're very floppy. Oh. Ooh, this is not a good place to be. But this is a great place to be. <laughs> I wonder if holding a torch or a, a lantern or a candle or anything, anything like that, I wonder if that increases your visibility. Probably does. Why did somebody store a bunch of sticks in the cupboard? It's kind of... oh. It's kind of weird. Okay, that one doesn't have a helmet, so I could toss something at it, although I don't think I have any bottles. No, I do have that slime stuff, though. A little bit scared to use it. It should be fine, right? Let's try it. Oh, it looks like it, yeah, puts him out, like, just as long as hitting him in the head. Okay, let's be fast, then. Anything on you? Handkerchief. And we're out of here. Oh. Oh, this might be the watchtower that we're heading up to. Hmm. Let's explore this place while we're here. Oh, put that away. Put that away. Oh. Cars everywhere. It's really hard to be thorough. Yes, yes, fire's nice and warm. But it's too hot. You're you're overwarmed. Especially in all that heavy armor. Better go get some air. Oh. See me for a second. They noticed. It's alright, we can hide. Already lost interest. Cool. Oh, cheese. Someone's been playing cards. I think we made it? Yeah. It seems like it doesn't allow you to hide if it's an invalid action, so I think if you can hide, you're fine. I think that's everything. Down here, I mean. Ooh, I do want to stock up on oil over there, though. It did take him a while to go. It took him a long while before they started going up. So I think I'm safe to do this. Oh, we can just hide up here too. near the watchtower? We're quite high up. 
Ooh. Maybe that's the person. It was someone whose name started with S. It's probably the person. Or at least the person that the blacksmith told us to talk with. Mysterious rat. Key to Silas's cot. Oh, well, I guess that's their name then. <laughs> Silas. Or S. So they did let us out. Take a quick look around. Rotcut. Can I, like, equip Rotcut? I can't. What is it under? Miscellaneous. Where if you could sell it? Do these things have any value assigned to them? I don't see any. Oh, look at this. When you get near a view like this, the view zooms out. Oh, that's gorgeous. What is that over there on the top right? Looks strange. Looks interesting. Alright, Silas. Why did you let me out, huh? You've nothing to fear, Mouse. Not for me. It was you who left me the key. Aye. You seem disappointed. The message was written in Meridian. Why? A precaution. Please, tell me your name, Silas. <laughs> I'm saying something. Sing something? Is that a family name? <laughs> Very well. Just keep it short. Are they actually going to sing? Is my character actually going to play music? If so, I can't wait. Open songbook, or I can just select one. Um, I think, yeah, this has the same issue as the other book, where I press the button, it just like skips through almost all of them. I think this is me tapping from three to like seven. I guess those are the lyrics. Is there a description for each one? Recounting the misadventures of an over-endowed rat in search of pleasure. <laughs> it's a rat with two tails. Hmm. Let's just go by name, though. Murder of Crows. You dare sing that to my face? You're braver than you look. I was just thinking. Yeah, that's like an extremely anti-rat song. Wow. I, uh, maybe should have looked up what that meant before I selected it. <clears throat> that's good. So tell me, why exactly are you here, Mouse? Your message said to come, didn't it? Most mice would have cowered in their cell. Even the bravest would have bolted for the gate. But you came here. Why? To find someone. I see. Here. Hands you a familiar Lutka. Oh, is that Mara? I believe that's yours. 
Thank you. Yes. Someone you care for? Mara, my wife. I hoped perhaps she'd be here, but... I saw the black lutka in your pouch. My son. I'm sorry. Truly. Mara, I can help you find her. How? I have my ways. And in return, I need you to get something for me. I'm certainly not going to say no. Very well. Good. I'm Silas. Let's get started. So, how do you intend to find Mara? All arrests and prisoner transfers for the region have to be registered at The Nail. The regional headquarters of the Rat Empire, Yuva Citadel, dominates what once was the capital city of the Kingdom of Meridia. Known colloquially as The Nail, it's from this stronghold that the Rat Guard has brutally suppressed any signs of revolt among the mouse population. It'll take some time to get a message to Yuva, but they'll know where Mare is being held. Yuva Citadel. Oh, right, same thing. Fetch me a skip beetle from the cage over there. A what? A horned flying beetle native to the eastern equatorial region. In the wild, the... Oh, sorry, not skip beetle, scap beetle. The scap beetle lures its prey by mimicking the mating call of other beetles. The signal guards of the red paw use this ability to send messages across great distances, encoded as a series of taps, whistles, and clicks that the scap beetle learns and repeats. The bond between a signal guard and his scaps is extremely strong, the beetles having been reared from larvae by their handler. Oh, that's so cool! A tenderly raised beetle. Those beetles must be really smart. Okay, um... Where's the cage? Beetle cage. Whoa! They're bigger than I thought. Uh, hope they didn't run away. Big ol' beetle. Got a fat one for you. He here's the beetle. Is something wrong? I'm afraid the rest of the beetles escaped. Oh, did I do that wrong? Yes, I saw what happened. I just wanted to see if you admit to it. Why didn't you warn me they'd fly away? <laughs> you should have been more careful. Aw. Anyway, they'll likely not go far. Just keep a lookout for them while you're about to keep. Okay. I could just reload, though, but no, I'll live with it. Um, how will I recognize them? They give a distinctive call. Listen out for it. After night falls. Now, let's get this message on its way. Holding it between his cupped paws, Silas whistles a coded message to the scap. Then gently launches the beetle into the air. With the whir of its wings, it is away, heading north for Yuva. Yeah, so they just remember. They remember what they've been told and just repeat it on the other side. That's so cool. Farewell, scap. Fly true. Alright then, what is it you need from me? Beneath this keep is a warren of ancient tunnels. There's something hidden down there. Something I need you to find. It must be something important. Something priceless. But you must be exhausted. You should get some sleep. Aye, thank you. Here. The rat hands you a burnished key. Take my cot. I'll keep watch. Thank you. Ooh, so much stuff. But I don't have the key to their chest. Hmm. Ooh, is that a map? Oh, courtyard map. I already paid for it. Dang it. 
still, I'll take it anyway. Now I got a copy in case the other one gets damaged or something. Ooh, look at all that food. Rock cut carrots. I mean, rock cut's not food. Spyglass. They have a lot of garlic, too. Big fan of garlic. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that, but that's fine. Alright, let's take a look at this logbook. Silas's record of all sent and received messages. The log is written in a form of shorthand illegible to you. Oh. Hmm. Right, I guess it's just like the... Probably the, the beetle clicks and stuff. I wonder if I can't read it though, I wonder why I took it. Like, can I do something with it at some point? Oh. Let's, uh, get the stool. Oh, you can keep the lantern on while you're, uh, going... Up and downstairs. Just noticed that. I think we did that before, but I just noticed it right now. Clothes pig. Foot locker. Need a separate key for that, too. Nothing in your prisoner's pouch. Ugh. So much garlic. Okay, let's take a look. So can I use the spyglass? It's not in my list of items. Can I not equip it? Doesn't seem like it. Oh, the lens of the spyglass's eyepiece is cracked. Ah. Figurine of Mara, your wife. Which you've carved in the days leading up to your wedding. She always says you made her nose too long. Aw. Let's sleep. Oh, wow. So there's a whole day-night system. Huh. I wonder if time passes normally. Like, if you're not doing anything, does time pass? Like, does time pass with time, or does it only pass when you sleep? Don't know. Anyway, it's 6 p.m., so I guess we'll wait for night time. Because then we'll be able to hear the beetles, they'll start making noise, so that'll be good. I also wonder if maybe it's easier to remain unseen in the dark when it's nighttime. Let's wait till midnight. Though it is also going to be harder for me to see, of course. It's actually a lot harder to see. Wow. There wasn't any oil refill in here, is there? Doesn't seem like it. You're up early. Didn't expect to see you till sunrise. By dawn, the best part of the day is gone. Are you feeling rested? Do you know I had the strangest dream? Of Mara. I. Remember, you're doing this for her. Now, it's time to go to work. Hmm. Do you never sleep? Messages arrive when they will. That's why I bunk here, not down in the barracks. But it's quiet before dawn. I usually get a few hours in then. You 
must get lonely up here. I prefer the company of the scaps. Better conversation. Silas, tell me, have we met before? You surely remember if we had. I saw the rope and pulley you have set up over by the beetle cages. Aye, I use it to bring up supplies from the garden. You can use it as a shortcut back to the courtyard. It should hold your weight. Nice. If you don't trust me, there's always the stairs. <laughs> uh, so these tunnels, how do I get to them? It won't be easy. The lower keep was sealed off decades ago when the entrance tunnel collapsed. It's home only to spiders now. Hmm. If I'm going somewhere where, like, no buddy is alive, surely there must be some sort of a enemy or threat down there, right? So what am I going to encounter? I don't know. Ghosts? Monsters? Huge spiders? Go on. A few days ago, one of the sentries disappeared from his post. We found his corpse down in the old armory, cocooned in spider silk. Oh god, huge spiders. The commander is sending a small squad of five into the catacombs to lay traps and poison. I have orders to join them, but you're going to go in my place. You'll be Private Scow, reassigned from Yuva to replace Private Fuel. Private Fuel? What happened to him? It's a long and silly story. You'll need to put together a suit of armor, disguise yourself as a guard. Okay. Go on. There are pieces of old suits stowed away all over. You'll need a helmet that hides your face. Look for a salad. Okay, we've already got this list. Prepare an antidote for the spider's venom before you head into the lower keep. Their bite can be lethal. An antidote? I wouldn't know where to begin. Somewhere down in the sewers, there's a rat who should be able to help you. His name's Faustus. The sewers? You can reach them through the jail. Indeed, I just needed the key. Uh, so Faustus, he's one of the guards. He's a prisoner. I see. Tors Harem, the guard that patrols the ramparts. He's been chosen as the Apothecarist's new assistant. He has a scroll tucked away in his belt, with instructions for how to reach this Faustus. Wait, so why is a prisoner being kept in the sewers? Tilo, it's better that you don't know too much. Okay, how do I get these instructions? How? Use your imagination. And why would the apothecarist help me? Because you're going to be his new assistant. Alright. Once you have everything you need, I'll give you the commander's orders. They won't let you through the west gate to the elevator without them. Do you think you'll have news of Mara soon? Soon enough, Mouse. Soon enough. Look, you should get going. Good speed. And be careful. I'll not be able to help you if you get caught. Let's go get a look at this place now that it's nighttime. It is pretty dark. I kind of want to sleep until it's daytime, just so stuff is easier to see, but I really do want to see if this conceals me better. And also, I do want to find those uh, scat beetles. Okay. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end this episode. I just want to mention, briefly, that uh, so far, I'm, like, really impressed with this game. I'm really enjoying it. It's not, like, just adorable. Even if the only thing good about it was that the main character is adorable, that would, like, almost maybe be enough for me. But everything else is also really cool. There's all these characters in what seems to be a, a fairly open world and a whole like day night system kind of thing. Like this is bigger than I thought it would be. So I hope you've enjoyed so far and I'll be back soon.